ini Okay, we're live. Hello, everybody. It's Friday and it's time for our art lesson. This is Alexia. And how old are you, Alexia? Five and a half. Are you going to help me today in my art lesson then? Yes. Okay, do you like art? Yes. Okay, great. So, um, uh, for people who are joining, if you haven't been with us before, uh, can I please uh, ask you first of all to get uh, images ready and uh, they are uh, listed on uh, Playing Art Historian group and on Facebook group, you can see them and there will be two images um, for this week's uh, lesson uh, and lesson theme is um, uh, Animals in Art, yeah. do you know that? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. So the way lessons run is that um, Alexia will start looking at the first image and she will be um, uh, just, you know, virtually applying visual analysis, having a look, what can, can she see? And um, because she's quite young, uh, you know, you did say you are five and a half years mm -hmm. old. We'll spend probably just one minute doing that. Um, and um, after that, uh, Alexia will tell us, um, will tell us uh, what she can see. And please, uh, if you saw something, hi, Renor, good to see you again. Um, and um, if you if you notice something which Alexia has not spotted, please uh, let us know. I'll read the comments out. Are you excited to do your lesson? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll start uh, very very shortly. So Alexia, I'm gonna put first image up. Okay. Okay. And then for one minute you look at it, and then I'll say to you, Are you ready? And you will say to me if you are ready, is it yes? Or yeah, I need a little bit more time, 10 seconds or so. And then you, you, I will ask you questions, okay? And you will answer them. Okay. Shall we begin? Yeah. All right. And um, everybody else, please uh, look at the first image. And uh, that will be a statue of uh, Marco Aurelio. I will also try while Alexia looking at it. i share with you my screen. Uh, today we're using um, sorry, Alexia, one second. Today we're trying to use laptop to share screens to make it easier. I just I don't know if I will manage. Okay, um, I won't manage, but I will copy for you the link. If you don't have them ready yet, you can always just hopefully click on the link and um, have a look at the first image. Okay, Alexa, now your minute starts. Okay. It's not a minute yet, sorry. <laughs> I was just also looking at it. I'm gonna ask. There's not much to happen. And that's fine. So I'll help you with questions. Okay. Um, the very first thing, then I'm gonna actually help you with uh, images, also have them on my phone here. Okay. So, so please tell me, Alexia, what could you see on this image? What is it? Well, there is a horse. It is a horse. And there's a man sitting on the horse. A man sitting on a horse, correct. So what do you think it's made of? Oh, it's a good guess. Uh, it could be made uh, of stone. Um, it's made of bronze. So, it, what is it? Is it painting or statue? Statue. It is a statue. Okay. And uh, what do you think? Is it um, new or you know of somebody who lives now uh, at our time, or is it is it a, a statue of a gentleman who lived a long time ago? 
Correct. How do how did you work it out? Well, it looks like it because we never wear wear something like that. Yeah. So you could say that it's a, a, a statue from ancient times because it's clothes which we don't see now, and also not for a while. Um, gentlemen wearing um, this special clothes called toga. Very good. You worked it out. Okay. So. Well, if you look at those people at the bottom of the image, do you think this uh, statue is small or big? Big. A little bit big or very big? Very big. It is very big. So, um, I also... It is rusty because it's bronze. So, it was... Um, I will have to help you a little bit. I will tell you where it was held. So, this sort of statue uh, was held outside in front of some very important um, public spaces in Rome. So this is an equestrian statue of Marcus Aurelius and it's nearly 2000 years old. So 2000 years ago they made this very big statue of a horse and a gentleman and put it outside of a very important buildings. So not like somebody's house but somewhere everybody goes. Do you you want to guess why would they put the statue in front of a very important uh, building? Because they might want to see it. Exactly, they want everybody to see it. Um, so uh, they want everybody to know that this gentleman is very, very important. But what do you think who is is doing in this image? Because we are talking about animals of art, or animals in art, why do you think there is a horse. So, does it, does it tell you a little bit of a story? If gentleman would be just standing there, you would think, you know, okay, this is a gentleman, he could be anybody, but this is a gentleman who is sitting on a horse and pointing somewhere. So, does this horse help you to work out that the gentleman maybe is very important? Uh, yeah. And, and also, you know who he was? He was emperor, so it's like a king, but of. Uh, I learned the emperor at school. Okay, so he was one of the emperors, and you know, um, he this statue got very very lucky. Um, you know why? Why? Well, quite often, um, if you were an emperor, um, then um, you while you were alive. They will put your your statue in front of a very important public building while you while you were there. Maybe a little bit uh, later on, but then you would die, become old and die. They would take the statue away, melt it because it is not bronze, and then make a the different statue and put that one in front. So the statue is very lucky to survive. But the horse here, as you can see, you know, because it's together with a gentleman. It's actually a kind of has the role of telling us a story of a soldier, of a, of an emperor who went to wars and and won them and was bring, was bringing home glory. So kind of something um, making their, his country even more important than it was. And you know there is a little secret on the image. Can can you see uh, there is a little bit of like a cloth under the saddle. Like, you, you know where he's sitting, can you see, like, there is a little bit, I will try to make it bigger for you. I can see Can it. you see, there is, there is some cloth there. So that cloth, mm -hmm. uh, cloth is actually a Sarmatian. So it means, it was a country which is now called Iran, and the gentleman went there and he won a battle. Um, and that cloth is kind of uh, telling what battle has he won. So it's a little bit of a secret on that horse uh, even carry, carrying on. But um, do, do you see a horse? Is it is it beautiful, strong horse, young, uh, or weak, ill? You know, how would you describe the horse? Mm, I would say big and strong. Big and strong. So this is also another way of telling a story is that that this country and the gentleman who is um, sitting on a horse, uh, Marcus Aurelius, he also was big and strong. 
So this animal is uh, helping him to tell a story how important he was. So this is this is a fast image, but I saw it myself. And you, can you, do you want to imagine how big it is? Actually, it looks like a ginormous monster, like nearly as big as a, like nearly as big as a. Okay. It's a, as big as two our, of our cars. You know, yeah. if you put one car on top of another, it's really as big as that. But one car is a big car. Yeah, and this is very, very uh, big car. Okay, so, um, and before we move on, um, can you see the gentleman that he actually, um, is, is he dressed like a soldier or is he dressed more like a, uh, just a person, uh, um, you know, a regular person? regular person so he doesn't have helmet doesn't have sword doesn't have shield also horse doesn't have quite often horses if they are um a battle horses you will see a lot of metal around their kind of neck but not this horse and that's because the horse together with the gentleman want to tell us that they are coming with peace they're not coming to start the fight they're coming they're coming to uh, be in peace thank you very much alexia so shall we move on to the next um, uh, image? Uh, children and parents, please uh, um, move to next image. It will be it will be Whistle Jack by George Stubbs. So if you don't have it ready yet, I'll send you a link again. Sorry, I didn't manage to share my screen, um, but. I will say again. Yeah, to keep on trying. Yeah, and we'll, you know, never give up. Now you got the link. Alexia, you can start your minute looking at it. Can make it a bit bigger as well. Mm, it's fine how it works. Okay. Okay. We can look at the little one here on my phone as well. I saw on um, white one of them has white. One, one, one of his legs uh, is white at the bottom. But what about overall? Like, what can you see? I can see a horse. And where is a horse? Can you tell? No. no. So there is not, it's just a plain background. There is just a horse. And can you see, because it's a plain background, it has got, you know, so much attention on, on the horse. And this image is also, also very, very big. And it's actually, is in London. Yeah, so you, you can go to the, the, the National Gallery when it's open again and you will see it. And it's also a ginormous image of a horse. So, Alexia, what do you think ab uh, about uh, this horse? Is it... What is it doing? Is it standing, eating, sleeping? You know, what kind of movement can you well, see? Well, it's, it's standing, but it's like it's trying to do a trick. Yeah, it's a, like they're trying to jump, so in, 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 in a movement. And how can you describe the um, horse's skin? Well, it's very dark on its head and its neck. But on like the, the a bit of the private mm. is a bit light no. brown. Okay, and they, uh, what about like um um is it shiny or dull? Uh, you know what what can you say about like light uh, on the horse's horse's uh, skin? Dull. Dull. I actually would say that it's actually shiny. Maybe you can see it a little bit better on the laptop. 
but uh, you can see that uh, there is shine on the tummy, there is shine on, on the oh, chest. Oh, I see that shine on the feet too. Exactly. So, it's, so if you look at this horse, do you think his owner looks after it very well or do you think this horse is, uh, you know, um, forgotten, nobody feeds it, nobody cleans it? Really? You think this horse was forgotten in the forest? Or do you oh, think... no. No. But, um, you know, like, because it's so shiny and so well combed, it actually shows us that um, uh, this horse is one of the very important uh, things in the owner's life. It was so important that the owner even asked to, uh, to create a, an image of uh, him. So he asked a painter called George Stubbs, I have got this very, very special horse. Could you please paint it for me? And he did. And it's beautiful when you see it in real life. But you know, this horse also has messages and secrets. You can't really tell from uh, when you just look, right? And you can't really tell because he just says horse he can't tell you. Yeah, he can't tell you, so he cannot tell. So you need to know a little bit about as the owner who has asked the painter to make the painting and about the time people were living in. So, so maybe the owner knows the secret. Owner definitely knew the secret. So the secret uh, about this horse is not it's not that much the, um, at the time it was secret, but basically. He was painted to remind the owner of one thing he liked doing the best, and that's going to horse races. So, you know horse races, it's where horses uh, run, yeah. and whichever horse comes first, what happens? Then they win. They win. So, Whistlejack won many times, you know, and the um, owner was very proud of him, but also by putting that image in the house, Every time, because uh, um, Whistlejack didn't uh, live very long, but the owner would come in, see the image, and would uh, just get this feeling of uh, being excited, back to the horse uh, race course, uh, looking at his horse, trying to win, and, you know, just really, really a uh, feeling of uh, enjoyment and um, uh, everything he liked. So, is that the painting, the painted? Yes, it's that, uh, this is a painting painter uh, painted. So in the first uh, horse we saw, the statue, it was used for what? For showing what? how important somebody is. is. Yes? Yeah. Emperor would put it outside with him on the back, saying, this is my beautiful, very strong horse, and this is me, you know, somebody who won the battle, but now I come with peace because I don't have any armors. So he is using the horsey to create a story. In the second image, animal of uh, in art, this particular horsey has got a different uh, role. He has his was painted to go on the wall in the house and remind uh, his owner about all the good times and all the things he enjoyed. So animals in art. Even though we admire looking at them, actually also help us to put a message across. Yeah, does it make sense? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if anyone has got any questions because uh, before we're going to uh, finish up. Um, uh, and uh, please tell us uh, what did you like? Uh, what did you like more? Did you like a statue or a painting before we finish up? What did you like more? The painting, I like statue more. I saw them, well, they were both extremely beautiful. But when I saw the statue, and uh, I, I just thought it was incredible. Because also it's so much older. It's, it's, um, two th it's uh, nearly 2,000 years old. So I, 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 like, I like statue. I like the painting because it has lots of colors. Yeah, it has lots of beautiful colors. And it's funny how, you know, I liked one thing, you liked another thing. So it's, it's now, it's so fair, you know, there is one inch for everybody. Okay, so um, we're going to...
we're going to finish. Alexi, you done super well. Um, sending, you know, who agrees? Uh, oh, uh, Marina Pinova, Kira's mom, <laughs> says that they loved painting more as well, like you did. With Kira. Your cousin Kira. Yeah. So bye bye everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye. And uh, see you next week. Um, I think next week theme will be fantasy and dreams. Uh, so please make sure to join us for that if you can. And uh, yeah, see you next Friday. Bye bye. Bye bye.